Come on, then. From hell's heart you summon me forth, puny mortal. What twisted desires lurk in that little head of yours? What inventive ways are you going to make me your plaything? You haven't got any such desires? <laughs> oh, I'll coax them out of you, my darling. One way or another. You mortals just love some teasing, don't you? You really don't have any. <laughs> oh, you're being very insistent. You want me to sound like you're telling the truth. In all my years of quenching mortal desires, you may be the most convincing liar I've ever seen. Bravo, puny mortal. I'll have to fashion you a medal. You're just lonely and need some company. Don't play with me, mortal. I know you're just pretending. Look, just cut the act. You're very insistent, more so than most, but I'm too tired to play along anymore. I know how this game goes. Of course you've got dark desires. You're human. Do you think I was born yesterday? Like I'm some young little hatchling who's just met her first mortal. I've seen this play out too many times. Shut up. Shut your mouth. I don't care how many times you say it. A lie is still a lie. Mm, this innocent little lamb routine can end. Take off your mask. Go on. Give me orders. Whatever you're going to do, whatever you're going to inflict on me, hurry up and get it done. Tell me what you want. What? Say that again. Intimacy. <laughs> That's what you're calling it now? <laughs> That's your creative little rebranding. Don't sugarcoat this while Moonlight's wasting. Come on, you twisted freak. I know you want to hurt me. I know you do. It doesn't matter how loudly I scream in protest or how much my throat burns from begging. That just adds to the excitement, doesn't it? You humans always want to hurt me. So come on then, out with it. Where are the chains, the hot coals, the knives and the pliers? What wicked torches have you got waiting for me? Come on, I know you're hiding them somewhere. Of course you are. Tell me what you want. <laughs> you want to hold me in your arms because you're lonely. No, don't you dare do this to me. You filthy little rodent, don't you dare get my hopes up. I, I want to believe you. I really do. I just don't know. Your eyes look honest. Your spirit, it feels honest too, but this could just be another sick joke you animals like to play. You like me to sit beside you on your bed. Pull up your blankets first. Let me see underneath them so I can check you aren't hiding something. I want to believe you, but I just, I can never be sure. Thank you. If you're lying to me, I'm going to rain hell on you personally, and you can count on it. Okay, shall I sit here? Okay, I followed your orders. 
and I'm here now. What do you want? Move slowly and carefully. If I get a hint that this is some sick game, that you still want to hurt me, I am breaking the contract early. I don't care what the Mother Superior has to say. She can punish me all she wants. You want to just hold me close to you. Okay, I get it. Like this? I've never felt a human touch so gentle. You want digging your nails into my skin? You want crushing the air out of my lungs? It feels like a gentle breeze on my back. It feels nice. Whenever I get a morsel of a good dream, I've always imagined what this feels like. I could never really picture it. It was like trying to imagine a new color or a smell you'd never sensed. No fleeting dream could ever prepare me for this bliss. You're stroking your fingers down my back so gently, I feel safe. Can you keep going? Don't go any faster. Do, do exactly as I say. Even if you are lying, even if this is all some pretense to hurt me, I'm happy I managed to get this moment. What did you just say? <laughs> Can you stroke my hair? No, no, I'm not angry at your question. It's just that you asked for my permission. Nobody ever even thinks of my consent. They just... <sighs> yes, please go ahead. I give you permission. Baphomet on a bicycle, that feels good. <laughs> Sorry, that really surprised me. Your fingers feel nice. <laughs> yes, sorry. It's a common phrase in hell. We say it all the time. <laughs> no, <laughs> not to my knowledge. I've never actually seen Lord Baphomet on a bicycle before. Maybe he's insecure about it. <laughs> he could be. He rarely gives public appearances. He spends most of the time in his infernal palace. <laughs> Maybe he wants peace and quiet to practice his unicycle. Wait. <laughs> no, I meant bicycle. Now I can't get that image out of my head. <laughs> One of the seven lords of hell wobbling on a tightrope on his unicycle dressed like a clown. <laughs> You'd buy tickets to see that. Oh, I'd happily pay for both our tickets. <laughs> You like to lie down. I don't see an issue with that. Oh, yes, mind the horns. They're a little sharp. <laughs> Somehow this is even better than before. 
you're giving off such a warm glow. This is a kind of tenderness that seems alien to me. Heat has always meant burning agony, but this is just comforting. Oh, um, please don't touch my tail like that. It's very sensitive. I'm still struggling to take this all in. You actually listen to me. I know miracles are the, the man upstairs' job, but I think I've just had my first one. It's ironic, I know. <laughs> yes, even more miraculous than using a pentagram to summon a demon, if you can imagine it. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, what did you say? I was too busy melting away to listen. <laughs> ah, about the morsels of dreams I'd get. I see. Yes, well, succubi are made to be perfect, sensual creatures. Because of that, we feel everything far more intensely. Pleasure and lust, of course, but also pain and anger, even physical touch. So, when the other humans would hurt me, I... No, it's, it's okay. I, I don't want to stop. It's the first time I've been able to vent my feelings. I'd like to keep going. When the other humans would hurt me, it wasn't just annoying or a nuisance. It was pain that I can't describe. Seeing their gleeful smiles would only make it sting harder. That torment wouldn't stop after my sessions were finished. It would chase me into my dreams. I catch only morsels of good dreams because the rest are cruel nightmares. They reminded me of what's waiting the next time I get summoned. All until I met you. <laughs> I'm going to turn the tables here. This time I have a request for you. While you're stroking my hair, could you hold my hand? <sighs> yes, that's okay. Thank you for checking to make sure that's the good stuff. I've always wondered what this feels like. But wait, please don't stop. Where are you moving your hand? A fur blanket? Oh, what sorcery is this? I didn't think this could get any better, but you're full to the brim with surprises. You trickster. <laughs> it is winter for you mortals, I suppose. That's right. I've heard talk of earthly weather from the other succubi. The girls would gush about snow and sunsets together. I was always too frightened or in too much pain to notice. Now I can. Rain sounds 
far better than I imagined. <laughs> You'd like us to fall asleep like this? That sounds like an excellent idea. No complaints from me. I've never wanted to share this before, especially not to a mortal, but my name is Eo. What's yours? That's a wonderful name. Even before meeting you, I've always liked human names. Oh, I've got a secret to tell you too. When you summon a succubus, the contract actually lasts for 24 hours. Shh, that's an industry secret. <laughs> Summoning circles are written in dark speech, so humans can't read them. Usually we lie to our summoners a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, I can only leave hell for an hour. It's part of the rules, I'm afraid. Sometimes we don't, though. If we're having a good time, we keep quiet and stay a little longer. I could spend the full 24 hours with you, if you'd like. That sounds perfect. I'd like that too. When we awaken tomorrow, I'll place my sigil on your arm. No, no, it's okay. There's no need to be afraid. It's painless and only you can see it. Simply press it to summon me whenever you'd like. I gladly have some intimacy with you again. <laughs> Will I finally get to dream? Yes, I hope so too. I don't see why not. I'm glad I believed you. You weren't lying after all. Good night, puny mortal. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Mm. Mm.